I know we're kind of used to bad news in these sorry times, but I read a little article in the Wall Street Journal that just brightened my day. Let me share it with you guys. The surprise hit in Glorious Bastards, which I don't really think is a hit. I think they spent more money on it, and it's not. it hasn't made as much money as they say they're lying. Anyway, appears to have breathed some life into Weinstein Co., but the independent movie studio is still facing a serious cash squeeze. <laughs> Several people familiar with the finances of the company, founded by independent film producers Harvey and Bob Have No Taste, said it needs a fresh capital infusion or successive box office blockbusters to ease the growing pressure. The four-year-old film company has burned through most of the roughly $1.2 billion in debt and equity financing raised for its launch in 2005, these people said. Now, these people said the company likely has to do one of two challenging feats, either raise at least $50 million or turn its upcoming slate of films into a series of hits that build on the success of Inglorious Bastards. In a statement, Weinstein said, the company has the resources to meet all our obligations from production to release of our films. As far as new financing opportunities, we will always be interested in new deals provided we see mutual profitability. Weinstein Co. is a relatively small studio in the Hollywood landscape, but its financial woes reflect the challenges facing many independent production companies, some of which have closed their doors in recent years, as film financing has dried up and audiences' tastes have shifted. <laughs> Who's right? I am. 